Become so freaking funny, you will jump like a bunny, then you will get all the honey and it will be so funny. Hello my wonderful people, today I want to be doing you a summer flag. And this outfit will blow your socks freaking off, I can guarantee you that. So yeah, you know, that's that's the freaking hat, you know, it looks pretty funny, you know, in that's this angle. So yeah, that's pretty funny. So as you see, it's the summertime and it's freaking hot over here, even in Finlandia. It's not always winter over here, I had like forgotten about that. So now I have the like the summer clothes, you know. Uh, with summer outfits I would say that you should go for uh, sun protection and not comfort, really. Uh, you should protect your skin, you know. You don't want to get skin cancers and you don't want to burn yourself, it's not funny. So I would go with that kind of stuff and I would go with pastel colors, light colors. You know, my outfit is kind of like over the top, but you know, I want to be recognizable and you know, it looks good on YouTube, you know, it gathers up the views. So that's that and I just got this new hat today and it looks good when the light like kind of like filters, filters through it. And I got a few ideas from this hat already that I do this military style crouching, you know, you see how I go like re how I go like low, you know. I thought about that you could take a shot out of that uh, out of that, you know, from like a upper angle and these hats are interesting because they like cover the stripe over here, you know, the stripe over here and they are interesting because it kind of like challenges you to think about new ways of like taking uh, shots and new angles, you know, these have, these have been like especially designed for like to be on camera. Yeah, so, or the Borsalino brand has made like this, a lot of association with the movie world. So, it's, uh, it's, it's got, it, I feel that it would be a really interesting shot to have this guy like shot from like upper angles, you know, like from maybe, maybe like skyscrapers and then uh, like the guy doing the crouching thing and the cameraman like, or the camera uh, like moving between the skyscrapers, kind of like following the guy from the upper, you know, maybe changing floors at, you know, it would be great, but you know, you can do that here, but you could make the, you could get the basic idea done, like here, but I don't know where I could do it, you know. So yeah, now is the first speech over here and you can see the outfit, I said that it will blow off your freaking socks, you know, but, <laughs> but this outfit is really, I, I love this outfit, you know, I bet that, I bet that Probably not much of anybody will understand this, but I understand it, so it's fine. And you know, I have this topic for you, the uh, boxing ring marriage. And I wrote this like few days ago, I thought about that. Yeah, marriage is kind of great until it becomes a boxing match, you know. Somebody might get like hurt in the process. And that's a problem and I'm here to like, if you are in a marriage and you are kind of like thinking about starting a freaking boxing match with your like wife or like your husband, I'm gonna say that no, like don't do it because if the police will come to like your house, it's gonna be a huge problem. So don't do it, just like draw some boundaries, you know, start wearing fedora hats, you know, these like kind of like this symbolize the boundary between you and the other people, you know. So that's the boxing match marriage and you know it's kind of a joke actually, you know, it's not, it's not, well it happened. I'm not an expert on this, you know, I'm just a, you know, forever alone type. And it's not really because I feel that I would be this kind of like boxing match dude, you know, in marriage. I, I don't feel like that way at all, but I just kind of like feel that, you know, getting married, like that's a huge and freaking hassle, you know. It's kind of like becoming, it's kind of like the hassle related to that stuff. It's kind of like, why don't you put that stuff like elsewhere, you know. You could make the stylist hats in that time. Yeah, somebody did. But you know, you know about camera angles, like have you ever seen a block like shot like this, you know, like, like, like this, you know, like this, this guy, you know, like I've, I've been looking at the sky, I've been looking at the freaking sky lately, and I've been looking at the freaking stars, you know, and I feel that I'm gonna be there someday, you know, 
like I can already see the freaking skyscrapers from here, you know, Manhattan, you know. That's where I want to go, that's why I wear the freaking hat. I want to go to Manhattan, that's why I wear these hats, you know. I want to go to Man freaking Hattan, and that's why I wear this hat. This will make you so rad, and maybe you will become just like the real brat. Become so freaking funny, you will jump like a bunny, then you will get all the honey, and it will be so funny. So yeah, maybe this should be the freaking comedy vlog then, you know, I have done vlogs in the Fini style, you know, like with metal style and then with the rap style. So now I'm gonna try the American New Yorker uh, comedy type of like stand-up comedy vlog, you know, that's pretty funny. You know, I'm, I have this vision, you know, actually, like uh, combining as many different styles and making vlogs in the same way but so with so many different styles actually like you know I got this amazing idea just you know like few seconds ago like what would happen if you like placed the audience uh, on the stage and the performer on the like the audience side you know like the like the performer was like lower than the audience, you know, put the, put the audience on the stage and then put the performer, you know, on the freaking, you know, in the, like, think about that, you know, and I just got that idea, you know, through this, you know, like how this is like cut, you know. Think about that. It's really fun when you are wearing this stuff. You can be out in the sun and get all that divide, man. <laughs> you know, get that good as prana inside of your freaking lungs, and you will going to the Bahamas with this kind of stuff. And you know about what I'm a plastic surgeon of the human voice. I can make you sound like diamonds and even the freaking stones. You know I can even make you sing the medals. You know I have that kind of power and magic in me, you know. I have been building up this man for like thousands of hours, you know, it was thousands of hours that went into building this kind of man, you know. And if you really want to get to the freaking top of this freaking game, then you will be have to be putting another thousands of hours into this freaking trade, and that's for freaking yeah. So yeah, talking stars are really funny, you know. Uh, of course, what you say also matters, but when you really want to, like, learn to talk in a certain way, it requires so much focus that you actually have to just practice the style, just talk, like, cheaper is or crap is, you know, it doesn't really matter. And if you think about that, uh, almost nobody speaks the language you're gonna speak anyway if you travel abroad. So you can go around for, like, example, Italia and just speak fi like Finnish, you know, in some like like stupid style. No, yeah, kyllä, mä tiedän, että kaikki tykkäätte siitä, miltä tyyliä mä puhun. Mutta joka tapauksessa kaikki lähti siitä, kun mä joskus kävelin täällä kaduilla. Ja sitten mä kokeilin kaikenlaisia erilaisia tiedot, puhestaile. Ei ollut ketään, kelle puhu, joten puhuin itsekseen. Ja aika hyvinhän se meni sit. Lopu päädyin Hollywoodiin. Aika holto juttu sinänsä. But, where, but, but you know, if you didn't understand what I even said there, you know, you only listened to the style of like how I talked. And if you really want to become the, like, the traveling kind of guy, you know, you have to like really think about that. Because, you know, you can make people feel all kinds of stuff with your voice, you know. And this microphone that I have on my camera probably doesn't really make like justice to my voice at all. But it's pretty close, you know. I should be getting a better like, you know, like this vlogging type of equipment, you know, it will be so freaking funny. You know, this freaking hat, it will change you up so much and you might even become the stylist guy on the freaking blocks. You know, that kind of situation is very bad. You get stuck on your back and you can't get freaking back, you know. Like, look at freaking that. That's pretty bad. Like, maybe I could help this freaking guy to get back on his feet and that would be really nice, like that. You know? Can I, can I help you? Like look at that, the guy is back on his feet, you know. That's the kind of guy I am. A blackbird. You know, this bird can pose. When he saw me, you know, he just flew over there. And 
Look at this guy. You know, with birds, if you want to like really get like good shots out of them, you can kind of negotiate with them to like get that kind of you know good shot. <laughs> it's pretty funny. You see this cloud over here. You see how the light comes through it. You know, that's pretty amazing. Oh, man, here's a nice shot. You know, we have really dark trees against this, like, you know, bluish, bluish, you know, grayish cloud. And if I want to frame it like, I would frame it like probably that. I've said this before, but the forests are the vlogger's friend, you know, because in the forest it doesn't get windy. And that's great. You know, that guy looks dead. That's pretty bad, but you know, you see the colors over here. There's some other creature on it. I would have never noticed without this camera, you know that. That's interesting. So I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about vlogging cameras at this point, you know. I've been looking at the DSLR from Canon, but it doesn't have a lot of zoom in it, you know. It's 900 euros, but the objective it has, it's like pretty city, you know. You couldn't be taking like video out of a bird, for example, with the thing, there would be no way. And uh, that's one of the problems with the vlogging camera right now. Uh, this one has a really shitty audio quality. That, well, it's pretty clear, but if it's windy, it's like it's it's bad. But uh, if I want to like make an upgrade, you know, I'm looking at the Canon V10. It's a vlogging camera, this small type of like pocketable camera. Uh, but it doesn't have almost any zoom in it because it's uh, just a vlogging camera. Then I'm looking at the DSLR. And I really don't know what are my other options. Maybe some like higher end thing from this, because you know, with the, the high end Canon camera, the video camera I'm using, uh, making vlogs, it's almost impossible. It's so heavy, you know. So I have to have I have to find something lightweight. I would want to like get a lot of zoom in it. I would want to make vlogs with it. So what am I really left with if I also want good audio quality, you know? That's maybe too much to ask. Maybe I should get like two different types of cameras, but that's a hassle. And I want to like travel light and make it simple. And if I go traveling, I wouldn't go with like DSLR, you know? So I'm left with compacts and yeah, that's, that's a shitty thing. You see this color over here? This is one thing about better fabrics. Uh, when you get this, like, what's the, what are these called? You know, the light when it hits the fabric, it it looks better and on a like better uh, fabric than a cheap one. Like for example, if you are interested in drawing like human beings and uh, like the clothing they have and drapery, that kind of stuff, uh, like pay attention to the fabric, what it's made out of. You know, this this kind of fabric, it's pretty great. But you know, I have seen like fabrics by some clothing manufacturers that look like out of this world, you know. Okay, now it's starting to rain and you see the sky color over here. I'm pretty close to my home, so I have to be speeding up so I don't get this freaking hat wet, you know.